Now that we've added the image files and the sound files into our WhatsApp project, what we're going to do is use them. So we're going to go into the interface.storyboard. This is the um, user interface for the watch app. What we want to make sure is that we are on the right view, okay? We want to be on the main view. We don't want to be on the glance, neither on the notification one, okay? So make sure you know this one, the main view. Right now we have Hello World because we created that earlier. But what we want is some design that look more like this, okay? So that's going to be... Uh, we're going to display the number of bits per minute. We're going to display some kind of image and then two buttons, a plus and a minus, to increase the, the, uh, the bits, okay? So let's go ahead and create that. First of all, the Hello World, let's just click there. And once you have that selected, take the inset right here and put it to the side, okay? Now this is a label. How do I know that it is a label? It says it right there if you go on this uh, identity inspector. It says WK interface label, which is basically the label for the um, watch kit. All right, now we don't want it to say hello world, but don't worry about it. The code will change that. But right now, just put a bit right here, put 132 BPM, okay? All right, now what we want is actually center this. How do we do that? Just click on the alignment, center right here, okay? It's that easy. Now, um, right here, I'm sorry, yes. Next thing we want to do is add the image. Now, we can just drag and drop the image, but that's not exactly what we want. We want to create groups. Now, let me just type groups here, okay, group. And as you can see, a group is a container that manages the layout of other items. Now, iPhones do not have groups as of um, November 2015. Uh, I'm sorry, 2014. There might be some in the near future, but as of today, there isn't any. So a group is basically a way to organize data um, and the visual controls and elements um, in, a, in a flow. Now, a group, whenever you put the group, as you can see, these groups are horizontal and anything you put inside would align from left to right, okay? So I'm going to put one group here and whatever I'm going to put there will align from the left side to the right side. But right now, in my group, what I want is actually um, an image. So I'm going to type right here and I'm going to look for an image, okay? And here it is. It displays a static or animated image. So I'm going to drag and drop this within the group, okay? Now my image does not have anything right now obviously, so what I'm going to do is just type right here in the attribute inspector the name of the image, and it's going to be bit1.png, okay? And there we go. This is the image we want, and it's placed just the way we want, scale to fill, so far so good, all right? Now what I'm going to do is add um, the buttons, okay? So I need two buttons. I'm going to type here uh, buttons, okay? And here it is, okay? And now what I'm going to do is just type right here and drag and drop this right here, okay? Now, as soon as you do that, the button takes all the room here. So the first thing we actually want to do now is not to take all the room. So how do we do this? We just first have to remove the title button, okay? And what we're going to do is the background image. We're going to use the um, image from our metronome assets folder, which is the button dash minus, okay? So let's just type button dash minus, press enter. Now, as you can see, it's way too big, okay? So what we're gonna do here is change the size. Instead of doing a relative to container, we're gonna do something different here. We're gonna do fixed width, okay? And here, just put 50, okay? Now, it's up to you. You can make it bigger or smaller, but 50 will, will do the trick for now. Now, as you can see, we only have one, but we need more than one. Um, we actually need a group. So what I'm gonna do is just remove that for now, because we're going to need the plus button as well, okay? So I'm just going to create a group. So I'm just going to remove it actually for now. So just select it and delete it. And click here and look for groups, okay? And we're going to put a group right here, okay? And automatically it knows to put the group below. Now, before even doing anything else, I'm going to show you something. You can actually uh, separate, um, separate the zones by, by using a separator, okay? So I can take this and just drag and drag the separator between the image and the group below, okay? So it's just a quick way to uh, separate elements from the screen, okay? And I'm gonna put another one right here as well between um, the bits per minute label and the image. You don't have to do it, but it's nicer if you have that, okay? So now again, within my group, what I'm gonna do is add the buttons. So I'm gonna click again on button. You guys should be familiar with that because we just did it and drag my button right here and I'm gonna remove the title 
and just put the image that's called button dash minus dot png. Okay. Earlier I said uh, to put a fixed width of 50. So go ahead, put a fixed width of 50. Now you can go all the way, you can go bigger, okay, just to make sure you know you can even go to 80. Uh, that will do. actually it looks a bit too big. So 60 would do probably, yes, it definitely does. Okay, so actually I'm going to do 60 just for the sake of it. Now I'm going to add a second button. So I'm just going to come here and drag and drop another button right here. And as you can see, it went right after. It knows it needs to go right after. Again, I'm going to remove the title and I'm going to add button. And instead of minus, I'm going to go button plus dot PNG. Okay, and I'm going to change to fixed width and I'm going to put the same width as the other one, which is 60. All right. Now, as you can see, something weird here is that it's um, it's aligned to the left and we don't want that. We want the buttons to be aligned to the center. Okay, so I'm just going to select both buttons and I'm going to go to um, the alignment. Okay. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to go in the group. Yes, there we go. So make sure you click on the group and you will put here layout horizontal insets. That's how it is. And uh, what we want to do is, uh, I'm sorry, it's, yeah, that's correct. I'm sorry, uh, I'm kind of new to it. It's right here too. Okay, so center, position, center. And as soon as you do that, whatever you put inside will also be positioned correctly. So select both as well and put position center. There we go. As you can see, both of them went to the center. All right. So now I'm going to keep going. Um, I just want to show you that uh, what, what we have right now and um, see it inside of the, um, see it inside of the, uh, of the simulator. So right now, if you click on play, you're not going to see anything because we want to see the notification view, which is this one. Okay. So that's not the one we want. We want to make sure that we're on this one, my first app watch app and I'm going to put it for iPhone. All right, and press play. All right, so um, you might have to manually bring the iOS simulator, and there we go, as you can see, we have everything showing. Now, it's not doing anything. If I click plus or minus, we can see that the click works, but nothing appears, okay? The BPM cannot be changed so far, so we need to make this interactive, okay? So we have the graphical uh, elements. Now, in the next lectures, we're going to make it user we're going to make the user interact with this. All right. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next lecture.